Hey Alley Cats! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to Alley Cat Beauty. My name is Ally and I'm here just trying to figure out this whole beauty game with all of you. So without further ado, let's get started! Let's get into it. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing a chatty get ready with me because obviously I'm sure some of you who've been here before, you've noticed that I have a different setup, different background, I'm in a new location. It's also been like a year and a half since I've been on here. So um, we're gonna get into all of that with the chatty get ready with me. Um, we're gonna be using my everyday makeup bag. It is a little bit crusty looking because I use it every day and I haven't washed it yet, but um, one of my best friends, Jessica, she actually got this for me. So we're gonna go through this, just do a chatty get ready with me, and I'm gonna talk about where I've been, what I've been up to, my goals for 2023. Yeah, um, let's get into the makeup. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we'll get started. So we're all zoomed in, just a couple quick things though. Um, if you see me looking this way, it's because my viewfinder's over there and that's how I make sure that I'm in focus still. Um, I'm still getting used to filming again, so it's gonna take me a little bit of time. Also, uh, I could probably zoom you guys in a little more, but I'm gonna do this first video like this. We'll kind of see how things go and I can always address things later. Um, but anyway, let's get into the makeup. Um, so the first question, I also have some notes down here. Um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was basically with YouTube, you know, I got started over COVID and so there was a lot more time. I was in school, but you know, I had free time. I wasn't going out and doing things. I didn't have to go to work. So it was just school. And that gave me a lot of free time to really be creative and film and edit. Um, I also had a podcast with one of my friends going. So, you know, there was a lot that I could do and I didn't really have that pressure of, oh my gosh, you have to get it done now or you don't have time to do this. So it was a lot easier for me to be able to film then. Also, I'm just gonna be listing all the products below. I'm also gonna have a video going through my everyday makeup bag, but if you're interested in any of the products, it's all gonna be listed below. Um, so basically, um, part of the reason why I stopped was because I was going back to work and I had to commute. Um, and then I ended up uh, just kind of getting drained and I was really just not motivated to do anything. We were moving as well, so I couldn't really like get a steady setup. And it was just a hassle because it's easy when you already have everything set up and ready to go. So you just have to go into the room and then you can start filming and you're good to go. But for me, the way that everything was, and this is partially my fault, you know, like some things I couldn't control, but I probably could have done better to really get everything going. It's just things weren't set up. There was no like makeup set up. There was no camera set up. There's no mic set up, no lighting set up. So every time I wanted to film, it was this whole thing that I had to go and do and it wasn't easy, it just kind of felt like a hassle. So that was part of what deterred me from wanting to film more. So then what I would kind of do to combat that was, okay, I'll film like five videos in one day, which I could totally do. Filming is fine, it's fun, it's great. But then when it comes to the editing, then that's kind of like the overwhelming part for me. So it was, oh my gosh, I have five videos to film. When am I gonna get this done? How long is it gonna take? When am I gonna be able to post it? Like I said, I was working, it was also the holidays, so I really just didn't have a lot of time to dedicate to that. And I'm in the hospitality industry, and a lot of people in hospitality will tell you like, it gets really busy during the holiday season and you have pretty much like no spare time. Like that's when you work all your overtime. Um, and it can be difficult, it can be taxing, it can be tiring, so by the time you get home, you really just wanna like lay in bed and do nothing. Some people can like actually be really productive afterwards, but for me, I was just exhausted. I just really needed the time to decompress and filming and uploading, it just was not part of that routine yet. And then another thing that, um, you know, I wanted to kind of 
do was I was thinking about maybe this could be a career for me. Maybe I can upload a few times a week and really like make this something that I do because I have, since I started, like I found that I really have enjoyed doing this. It's just a matter of consistency and uploading, right? So for me, it's something that I could definitely see myself doing, but I don't have a following yet. For the people who do follow me, thank you, I appreciate it. You guys are the real OGs. But I don't have like a big following yet. I can't be monetized yet because I just don't have the viewership, I don't have the subscribers yet. And that's something that I do wanna work on growing, but it's just something that's not there yet, which is totally fine. Like everyone has to start somewhere, so I'm not worried about it. And it's not something that I'm like, I have to get the subscribers now. Like it's not a rush, it's gonna come when it comes. And in the meantime, I really love filming, I love editing. It's not like something that I'm really pushing for. I just want it to grow organically. Um, but part of me thinking about that was also comparing myself to other YouTubers and people who already have followings. I realized that that was very unrealistic of me and, you know, while it's something that I still kind of catch myself doing, I also have to tell myself, like, look, they've been doing YouTube for a few years or they've been able to dedicate more time to it. There's other factors that play in. And so I can't compare myself to them because then I'm just going to be setting myself up for failure. So that was a big realization that I had and something that I still catch myself like having to work on, but I just have to look at it as this is my journey, this is where I'm at with my channel and I can't compare myself to anyone else because otherwise I'm just not gonna get anywhere. And then, like I said, with work, it's big time commitment. Filming videos doesn't just take like 10, 15 minutes and then I can edit it in five minutes and it's up. <laughs> when I first started filming, I had like my first video was probably like four hours of footage and I had to condense it down to like 20 minutes. That's a lot of just like watching things over and over again, cutting stuff out, making sure audio is lined up. Like it's a lot and people I feel like don't always realize that. Some people are doing a lot more like short form now like with TikToks and Instagram reels and stuff like that. And I haven't quite gotten into that. I don't know if I want to get into that just because I do kind of want to focus on YouTube and I don't want to overwhelm myself with um, too much at one time. So yes, short form is kind of where everything is trending and that's where everything's at. But I also want to make sure that I'm setting myself up for success. If I have too much to focus on, then that might deter me again and then who knows you might not see me for another year hopefully that doesn't happen um, I do want to kind of really focus with YouTube and get going with a routine and get going with a steady like upload schedule just to kind of make myself be able to enjoy this but also be able to put content out it's also like this big time commitment that work conflicts with a lot so I am gonna be getting a new job um, I love where I work right now. Um, it's just the hours are not exactly conducive to the kind of lifestyle that I see myself moving forward into. Um, it was great for while I was in college and for the past few years. I absolutely love the company that I work for, but um, I just kind of need something with a little more flexibility, some more holidays off, because like I said, it is the hospitality industry, so the holidays are definitely a big part of our revenue. It's hard to get holidays off. Um, it's hard to really be able to spend that time with family because that's when the business needs you. I'm still gonna be working in hospitality, but the hours are gonna be a little better. Time management, I'm hoping that the work-life balance is gonna be better. And honestly, work-life balance is completely on me. That's my pri my job to prioritize that, and I did not do a really good job of prioritizing that in the past. So I do definitely need to work on that, but I'm hoping kind of with this new job, with this new start in the new year, I'm hoping that I'll be able to set a lot of goals and stick to them, and I'm hoping that's gonna be a really positive change for me moving forward. But um, part of YouTube is having that time commitment and being able to, really being able to like dedicate that time to it because it is a lot of work. That's another part of like, can I do this for a living? Am I able to really get started and get a following? And at my other job, obviously this YouTube is not the reason that I'm leaving my other job. 
Um, I just happened to get another offer that I really enjoyed and I thought it would be better suited for the lifestyle that I'm looking for. But I think that, you know, with a new job, I'm able to kind of redefine who I am and what type of person I am at work. So I do really just want to be able to balance my time a little better um, and manage my time well where I can start doing this more consistently and I can, you know, potentially gain a following and potentially think about doing this as a part-time job or even as a full-time job depending on how quickly I grow or depending on how many followers I get and stuff like that. And then the other thing is like, it's difficult to put yourself in the public eye. Like people are watching you, they're looking at all your different imperfections. People I think nowadays are a lot better about, you know, not being as mean on social media, but it's still hard to put yourself out there and just like think, man, there could be hundreds of people watching me. Like, what if I say something wrong? What if I do something weird? What if someone doesn't like what I'm doing? And so it's nerve wracking to really just be on social media in general, but then to like deliberately post something. <laughs> It's kind of like, okay, I really have to be careful about what I do, what I say, just because I don't want anyone to take what I'm saying in the wrong way. It's just very nerve wracking and I don't want to be thinking about that all the time, so I'm gonna move on from that topic, but that is part of what I was thinking about when like, oh, can I do this for a living? And that's kind of what deters me sometimes too from posting videos. Well, that's pretty much my base done. I'm just gonna do bronzer and blush and then that'll be it. Like I said before, there's like a lot of aspects to filming as well. It's not just the filming and the editing. It's also taking pictures, taking B-roll. So like shots of the different products, um, behind the scenes shots, taking different promo pictures to post on Instagram, getting the perfect selfie. It's also like staying up to date on the new things, right? There's so much makeup that gets dropped every single year. ColourPop comes out with like a new release almost every other week or so. So it's just a lot to keep up with and that can be kind of stressful too. And since this isn't my full-time job right now, A, I don't get PR and B, I don't have a budget to be buying every single new release or like multiple new releases a year. So I just kind of have to use what I have. I have to kind of realize as well, I don't have to be keeping up with the new all the time because for the most part, the normal everyday person doesn't buy every single new release. They probably have like their set, their go-to makeup products and they use that and maybe they'll branch out every so often if they see a really good video or they see a lot of good reviews on a new product. but. Most people aren't like me and wanting to buy every new thing. <laughs> Something else that I was tinkering with in terms of what my channel would be, well that's like essentially it. What is my channel gonna be? What am I gonna be doing? What am I gonna be filming? Do I want it to be like makeup based? Do I want it to be beauty based? So like skincare as well, or health or lifestyle. And there's like a few other ideas that I do have in terms of wanting to branch out. I think right now I am going to stick to makeup just because um, I do have quite a few videos that I want to complete. Also if I'm sniffling it's because this room is really cold so and it's also like raining outside and everything. I'm just a little sniffly. It's, I'm not sick. I'm just like it's cold in this room. And part of that too is okay well if I stay as a makeup channel Am I going to be doing reviews? Am I going to be doing unboxings? Am I going to be doing tutorials? Part of that was, okay, well, if I'm doing unboxings, then I'm going to have to buy new makeup. If I'm buying new makeup, am I going to be able to afford other things? And so it's just kind of this circle of different worries and different aspects of the channel that I kind of just let get to me and prevent me and kind of hold me back from really pursuing this creative project and moving forward with YouTube. So that's something that I wanna like move away from and just, you know, I'll do my own thing, I'll have fun with it, and I'll post videos, I'll edit videos on my own time and when I want to and hopefully get some content out. So there is a lot that I have to decide and I feel like I have to decide it right now, but to be honest, the more this whole work-life balance comes into play not just for influencers but for people every day as well and this 
desire to do things that you're passionate about, not because other people want you to do them, but because you want to do them. That has been coming up a lot more, especially with a lot of the YouTubers that I watch. And I think that it's really important to convey that as well, because I do think that it's important to do things and to set that precedent that I'm doing this because I wanna do it, not because someone is making me do it. I just have to kind of embrace that as well in my creative process and just do the videos that I wanna do, film the videos I wanna film, edit the way that I want to. Obviously, I would have to kind of have a set of like, okay, well, what gets views, what doesn't get views, because otherwise my channel won't grow, but I do also want to have this thought process of, I wanna do this because I wanna do it, not because someone else is making me do it, not because it's gonna get me a million views. Then I feel like that's where people lose the desire to really be creative and they lose the desire to want to do anything for themselves because it doesn't feel like fun anymore. It feels kind of like a task. I started my channel as a creative outlet and you know, I love makeup, I love trying new styles and techniques. It's something that my boyfriend could help teach me different techniques, different ways of editing. It was something that we could really connect on over COVID and he like was a he was a huge help with that. And he still is, he literally set everything up today. So thank you. <laughs> um, you know, it's a new tool and a new skill that I can learn, but also have a lot of fun with. And I've never been a super creative person. So this is pretty much like my creative outlet and I don't want to lose that. Now that I have more time, I think that I could focus on it a bit more. I think that I could really benefit from having a creative outlet and continuing to do YouTube. That's kind of like the summary of everything. Honestly, I feel like I was kind of rambling um, throughout this entire thing, but basically like the gist of what I'm trying to say is like, this can be difficult, especially for someone starting out, not only difficult to like start up and get your flow and find your rhythm, but it can be difficult to want to like really commit to because especially if you're thinking about doing this as a job, like you don't see, unless you're already famous, like you don't see that monetary give back until later on. You wouldn't see that monetary gain until you do get that following or something you do goes viral. It can just be very hard to find that motivation if it's not something that you're really dedicating yourself to. So that was kind of my biggest struggle with this. I do have a goal to upload 12 videos the entire year. That could be three videos in one month and then take a couple months off as a break. That could be one video every month. Like I just set a goal for 12 videos in the year. I do have plans to kind of try to consistently film. That way I can reach that goal because ideally I would like to surpass that goal, but I don't want to set the bar too high for myself. Otherwise, I'm just not going to do it. You know what I mean? Like if you set the goal too high, then it can feel really difficult to reach. And then that can also be demotivating as well. So I want to make it a realistic goal, but something that I can also surpass if I really want to. I'm gonna get through the rest of my face real quick, um, and then I'm gonna come back and do some kind of like wrap up thoughts. Um, but yeah, so I'll be right back. This is pretty much the finished look. Um, pretty natural and nude, um, very everyday friendly. Um, I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna zoom out and then do some finishing thoughts on this video and the future of my channel. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble on and on for like 20 minutes about where I've been and why YouTube has been a challenge for me, but I hope that I will be able to fulfill my goal of 12 videos this year and hopefully surpass it. Um, this was a lot of fun to film and get set up and everything, so I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things. Please bear with me while I work out all the little technicalities um, because it is something that you have to kind of get back into the rhythm of. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that like button, comment down below, and ring that notification bell if you guys want to get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You can follow me on Instagram at Beauty. 
pretty sure I covered all my bases here. Again, please bear with me while I get used to my intro and my outro again and kind of what I have to say and all of that stuff. Um, but I had so much fun filming this video and I will see you guys soon for the next one. Bye, Alley Cats.